sorry, sorry, I'm <laughs> not used to whiffing. So I step left. Holy shit. I have one thing I can share you right now, and it actually helped quite some moments against high ranked players. And it's against the wall with back two. So let me show you guys that first. So we all know back two, right? You can cancel it to uh, forward here. Oh, excuse me. Let me do this. Let me do guard all first. Right? That's normally what you do, right? Back two into forward. So you have the 50 50 here with this or the high. Did you guys know that you might, this is also something I do a couple of times, but an empty one gives you plus 15. This sounds very weird, but I can show you guys with the frame data here. It gives you plus 15 and advanced players know that here you have a follow up, right? The unblockable or the mid, but you can actually do this into another one, an empty one. And it actually works. It works quite effective. I have it on my PS4 if you want to see it, but it works it's very weird because you can do this it's plus 15 everything here is guaranteed if the opponent do, does something press a button or you know maybe duck or something you can even stuff them with 432 this shit is that guaranteed it's fully guaranteed this uh, you can try it out for yourself if you face someone that actually respects a lot it gives you free plus 15 can it sight so that's a good one let me let me record Gigas doing it and me being Hihachi. Yeah, that's possible doing down back two after this because you're super plus. And that is startup uh, 23, making it quite quick as well. Let me record. Let, let us record Gigas doing it and me trying, trying options here. All right, perfect. So, okay. Let's do... What's a good option after a fully charged back to empty into nothing? Maybe Ford, uh, Ford 3. I said Ford 3. So this, right? So let's try it. Something like that. Okay, I jabbed there. Can hear it. Sidestep, someone has sidestep as well. No, you can't. Maybe the other one uh, the other way. No. He's way too plus sidestepping that. As you can see. That's uh, down for two counter Yeah, it's also very good for down for two counter hit fishing. No, as you can see, I'm I'm pressing down jab. I'm pressing jab. Oh wait, let me do this so you can see what I'm pressing. As you can see, it's you can't do something here. And down for two on counter is a wall splat. Let me record that as well. I also put in some delay so you can hit confirm it if it hits counter hit. I held back there after I got hit. There we go. So that's something I actually did in match. It was like improvising because I've actually fucked up pressing forward after back two. And I was like, wait, that animation looks quite plus. So what if I just do forward three now? And it actually counter hit it. I don't know what the opponent did, but it was a quick move. It was like a 13 frame move when I saw the replay and he pressed something because you can also see what the opponent presses. So yeah, this is something. So if you want to try it, you can always try it. Against the wall, of course. I did not make a video on this yet, but on my first test stream, I already shared um, some weird stuff with down back four. It's not weird, but it's like a frame trap. Um, first things first, it's 14 frames, which is quite quick. And it also high crushes on the fourth frame, which is very fast, right? If you already know this, please let me know. But the thing here is, this is normal hit, right? It's minus two on normal hit, which is okay. Because it also lets you in crouch, right? As you can see, I'm doing four here as well, standing four, instead of just this. So, the funny thing is, 
on counter hit, it gives you plus three, which is randomly very good, right? It's quick, so you can actually counter hit people with a quick low bow. And it also gives you a different hit animation. So as you can see here, I'm gonna compare. Watch how Hachi closely here. That's normal hit. On counter hit, however, it's a different animation. So you can actually confirm it on his animation on hit. So where is this leading to? You're plus three on counter hit, right? This, while standing four, is 13 frames. So it, it technically makes it 10 frames if you hit the down back four on counter hit. So let's just put this on counter hit. So that's technically a 10 frame while standing move. And what this does on counter hit, if they try to interrupt, it gives you this for free, right? The while standing four gives you knockdown for free back one. That already is pretty strong, in my opinion, right? It's okay, it's decent. But if the opponent actually tries to jab here, it trades. So let me try to reconstruct that. So it actually gives you a free trade. What does this mean? So let me try to do it again. It actually launches. So what this means, down back four on counter hit allows you for a 13 frame mid counter hit launch, which is pretty good. Let's do a basic combo here. The whole setup here, the sequence, gave us 93 damage on a low that is 14 frames and crushes high. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that is actually really good. If it trades with a jab, you will get this damage in total, of course. And if it doesn't trade but beats the opponent, you will get a free flip up. So yeah, that's something. And about your uh, second hitter down for 3-1. Yeah, I know it's very good. So let me explain what mid, uh, mid step, missed step, damn, I'm stupid. What mid steps mean with the down for 3 1 second hit. So you guys know this string, right? Oh, there we go. You, uh, maybe you already saw it there. This string is a mid high. It also is 30 frame, 13 frame startup. If, the only, if only the second hit hits as a counter hit, as you can see on the frame advantage, it says plus 10. But this, on counter hit, gives you free one too. For 45 total damage. So, against the wall, you might already know where this is going. Eighty-one damage from a thirteen frame starter mid into high, and the high is pretty safe on block. It's you can duck it, but you can easily launch punish it because it's quite quick on recovery. And yeah, it's relatively safe while standing for relatively because normally it's minus so well for minus thirteen. Let me just test that out real quick. Minus 12. So if they block and punish it, yeah, some characters will get a knockdown. Some characters get a good punish. But it's not like minus 14 or minus 13. And an animation down for two. Yeah, that is something I would love to have. A down for two counter hit animation. That is something I already said on my video on YouTube that... I don't like it that this is the same hit animation on on counter hit and normal hit. Screw on counter hit 442, that would be sick. If this on counter hit gave you a screw, damn, <laughs> damn, the world ain't safe if that's going to happen. No, just kidding. More lows for Gigas? Yeah, yeah, sure, that's something as well, yeah, a hell sweep, <laughs> hell sweep. Everyone has a health we give Gigas one as well. No, no, no. Another command grab will be very good for Gigas, yeah. Or what Fakunram has right now, that his 1 plus 2 break is like 14 frames instead of 20. Break window. Electric for Gigas lags, bro. I want to see that. A low move from Gollum. Yeah, we need, we need a mix-up from this. This is like the weakest stance in the game. If you see this, you just know it's either this or this. 
I know you can go into kicks, you know, all his kicks are still available in this stance, which is down three, for example, or down back four, or one should be plus on block, and that, yeah, season one, he got a plus on block option, this normally was a high, but it was plus five on block, but now they just turn it into a minus 13 mid. Oh yeah, Type, yeah, you, you mentioned an un unavoidable rage drive from Fort 4 charged up, right? Let me try that. I'm gonna try that right now. So that means she can't jump out of it? Yeah, Type Type has the, the most disgusting setups. <laughs> Is it like that? Alright, cool. Let me record that then. Damn, that kind of looks gross already. So let me try that. I can't jump? Oh my god, yo. I, I couldn't jump there. Hold on. <laughs> let me put on the command history. Bro, that's kind of that's kind of disgusting, man. I'm not going to lie. I have a big ass smirk on my face because that's kind of godlike. <laughs> that is godlike. Yo, shout out to Type, man. He has the, the craziest stack. That's hot. <laughs> That's hot indeed. Jesus. Let me just go. Let me just do up. No. Let me just hold up for it. Maybe. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Now I actually have a reason to use forward, forward instead of back two at moments. Because I always use back two. Dude, that's crazy. Up? Oh, he says um, forward, forward is plus 26 on block and back two is only plus 15, which is true. But that's ridiculous. Yo, we out here with the with the secret tech, man. The world ain't safe for the Gigas army. Does it work with, while standing? That's a very good question. I think it will work. Uh, let me see. It works. I'm holding up for it or uh, down or uh, no, not down for it. Up back. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> I'm hype. It works. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Damn, that's great. So actually, if you hit this first, the opponent tends to block, and then you can do this. That is amazing. You know, but it's always worth mentioning. I'm not sure if you guys know um, about the Ford 1 plus 2 trade into free down 2, but that's something that is also pretty effective because it's usable if you're plus 3 on hit, and Gigas has some tools giving you plus 3 on hit. So, um, let's see. Damn it, I have to do this again. <laughs> Did you guys see that by the way? So let's let's try it again. So I'm jabbing here. I'm holding back. That down two is guaranteed. So that's something I know. And again, you have plenty of tools giving you um, plus three on head. I think that will be the case, yeah. If Gigas comes back in Tekken 8, it will be most likely DLC. And maybe with a big tweak or, you know, rework, but I don't think it will be in the, in the vanilla character roster. I'm not sure about that. He's way too unpopular having him in the vanilla character selection in the new game. Well, the thing is, okay, we are, we are in the minority here finding Gigas a cool character, right? But it, that also has, you know, maybe his appearance. People don't like Gigas as his appearance-wise. They don't like he, him being a very big, bulky kind of cybernetic mutation 
weirdo. I mean, people actually prefer Marduk. I don't... Okay, I'm not gonna roast anyone, you know, if you like Marduk, cool. Even my bigger brother like Marduk more than Gigas, but... I really don't dig that character. It's just like, you know... Did you see his win pose? Do I have to say more? I'm number one? I'm number one? Is that like a legit win pose? You know, Gigas goes goes ape shit on the ground. That's cool to me. Or he has that um, that victory screen that he's like watching to the side, and then he turns around and almost gives the cameraman a seizure with a sponge. That's cool. Yeah, I also seen Marduk and Tekken Four with the hair. That's kind of yeah. Let's not talk about it. That sounds crazy. Hold on. <laughs> Launch four two one. One down back three two. Whip sidestep. What is spring kicks as? Wait. Oh, okay. Spring kick as wake up. Oh god, I'm not ready for this. Launch four two one one. So four two one has to whiff. Oh, so I step left. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I fucked up. I fucked up, I fucked up. Oh, it has to whip. Sorry, sorry. I'm <laughs> not used to whiffing. So I step left. Holy shit. <laughs> what is this? I know it's a very specific Mr. Spring Kicks, but that shit looks godlike. Nice. Bro. <laughs> Bro, type, you're the best, man. <laughs> what the fuck? I have to hit someone with this. Oh, I timed it wrong, but it even worked there. <laughs> Dude. You can even do that setup if you hit it. You know, the, the back there in 4, 2, 1, down 1 into stance 1, it launches. That's ridiculous. <laughs> What even is this? Okay, one more time, because it looks sick as hell. One more time, one more time. Bro. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But yeah, one more thing I would like to share with you guys. Maybe you didn't know this, but... Um, so, down for four, right? And I think Type actually mentioned it a little bit earlier, but I can share it right now. You can see down for four here. Let me turn on the frame data. It's plus three, right? And notice how Hayachi is getting hit. On counter hit, it gives a different hit animation and gives you plus eight. Okay, it's a 40 frame mid, pretty long range poke. Alright. So, what happens if you trade with this? It is possible to trade with this. As you can see, while standing 2 here gives you plus 4. So this means this into this trades with a jab. So let me try and record this. It gives you plus 10, giving you free 1, 2. Yep, type said it already. Plus 10, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it gives you free jab or free 1, 2. As you can see there. Say we're down for three, yeah. It's exactly the same with down for three. And that's 13 frame startup. So if you do down back two into down for three, trade with a jab, it gives you a free one too. Same goes for four, 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 giving you plus three on hit. So if you trade this,
that's a free one too yeah well i'm glad you tuned in now eight pack because now you see a couple of things you've never seen before i think you don't know the relaunch setup then if you're a little bit unfamiliar with the tech i can show if you want okay so you have a couple of options doing this you have two options and how to initiate the setup is you either hit this on counter hit or the second hit on normal or counter hit doesn't matter so let me do this on guard all okay that's number one or on counter hit four two which is more you know um realistic to hit so let's do something here counter hit i have to turn on counter hit excuse me So what happened there if the opponent normally wakes up or not even wake up if he stands up normally as you can see here in the options ground technique side quick roll left we can even turn this off and only remain this into stand up this hits yeah it's one of the feet of my video yeah exactly this is the one of my video so now if they stay on the ground you have a different option so let's turn this to not set or let's do yeah not set not set is good so if they stay on the ground and the back four hits here you have a free down two as well that's guaranteed pretty much hit here let me try it one more time So if they do a wake up kick here, you will launch them. If they stand up normally, the down two will hit grounded as well. And we can actually try this. Hold on. Maybe something. Whoa, where did Gigas go? <laughs> Hold up. Gigas, please. Gigas, please. Where did you go? What is happening? He's going home. <laughs> He's going home. He's done with all your shit. All right, let me see. Can you guys see this by the way? Or is it not working? I think it's working. Oh, it is working. All right, cool. Oh, that's pretty smooth. So you do sidestep. Wow. And another sidestep. Okay, let me recreate this. Let me try and recreate this. There we go. Yeah, and it gives you plus 53 on back turn. So I think it's guaranteed. The best thing I can do here is maybe recording Gigas doing it, so I'm Hayachi then, and try to dock it maybe, or try to do something. So let me recreate this scenario. That looks... Uh painful man that fits right in the ass um let me see if i can turn display on there we go so now you can see what i'm trying to do against this um specific setup so i tried to duck there it didn't work As you can see, I'm holding down back, but it's not working. I mean, I'm trying there.
Maybe, maybe down for it? Down jabbing is not working there. No, it's not working. So, I guess back to even is guaranteed there. Maybe after splat we can do um, one plus two. No, it's it's a little bit too slow. It looks like it's too slow. But the splat is good. Does he have refloats? Yeah, he has some refloats. I can show you a couple of them. Because he has some refloat combos, yeah. So what you can do is... Let me put this on standing. It mostly works against... Um, it works against all options here except for quick rolls. So side quick left, side quick right, quick recovery, that's effective against the refloat. But if the opponent stays on the ground, you can refloat them easily with the option here. So let's do um, an easy combo here. So that's one of them. And this also works if you hit 4 for 1 plus 2. So let's do this. Oh, yeah. It also works for that. 4 for 4, 2. Into 4, 2, 1. And yes, that is exactly what I wanted to say. Your type is, is sharp on this. You can actually condition them to stay on the ground because if they quick roll, you can hit them with the back too. So let's activate side quick roll left because that one is pretty common to see against uh, with the opponent, right? So let's do this. Nice. Then you have them in the ropes again with your back too. Even on the right side, even on the left side. gives you this so then you can condition them to stay on the ground giving you the opportunity to go for refloats like showed before so yeah he has some refloats well okay maybe one but it's a pretty effective one the four to one string to refloat upon if they stay on the ground there's also one uh, with fort for yeah in your know, type is very sharp on this you have fort fort four two but it's a little bit risky to use because if the opponent quick turns or quick rolls it will totally whiff and you're not in a good position so i can show you what type means so let me put this on not set and let's do this combo again you can do this multiple times so if the opponent is a little bit stubborn and they will stay on the ground you can do fort fort four two forever but again if they quick roll, then you're kind of screwed. So let's let me show you what I mean with that. Yeah, that's not a great position to go in. So that's why, and let's let's um, let's compare this to the four two one floater. So as you can see. You know, it's not bad. It's obviously not the best thing to whiff, but it's not super punishable. And also one selling point I have on the forward two, one refloat versus the fourth forward four, is you can actually hit confirm it. As you can see, I can show you here. The string had quite the delay opportunity, delay window. You see? So this might be a little bit hard, but you can actually train yourself doing forward two. If it hits, it refloats, go for the one. If it doesn't, just do this and you're safe. So let me show you what I mean. 
Oh, that hit it. Right? That's what my mind, like, you know, the timing has. Oh, it hit it. Cool. I'm gonna do it. Right? So now, let's turn this to the side quick roll. I'm not gonna press something because it whiffed. So that's something you can try for yourself if you want to go for the refloats. We, I, I see counter hit 4442 and I know what time it is. It's time for damage. Alright, let's see. Counter hit 4442, 421, delayed. Damn, that, that sounds like a crazy combo. Let's try. Oh no, oh my god. <laughs> I almost had it. Is this gonna reach? Oh yeah, wow. There we go. 121, that's nice, man. Does that also work for down two? I'm not sure. I don't think so, it's a different launch. Oh, it does. It does work on down two. Hey, what, it, it even connected. 86 in the open. So on a regular launch, we can actually do this. That's pretty nice. That's nutty. All right, one more thing I have to share, and then I think I would jump into ranks. It has to do with his wall game at four two one one. I made a video on it on YouTube, I know, but it's kind of cool to share because I think it's quite an underrated string to use, but it has its uses. And let's put this guy on guard. Or no, crouch. Crouch is better. So we all, I think, know this string. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this off. It's quite annoying. We all know this string. And be honest, how many times do you use this string? Right? How many times? For me, I'm kind of guilty not using this a little bit more often against the wall. But, it actually has a different hit animation as you can see there. 5%, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can say maybe 6% I'm using this. But, it is actually pretty good against the wall. And let me tell you something here. So we have this guy on guard all and his option here is side quick roll left. So let's see what Hayachi does here. You can see he just stands up normally here, but what if I tell you you'll get a free launch here. So what you have to do here is 4, 2, 1, 1, right? If it hits and you can easily see if it hits or not, sidestep to the right and do a back one. This will happen. Why does this happen, right? Why does it, because as you can see, Hayachi is in a very weird angle here and that whole stand-up animation, he's vulnerable for moves. So let's do this again. You see, let me try to back one here now. It hits. You can even do forward four, one plus two, if I'm not mistaken. Even that hits. And now the question is, okay, but what if they stay on the ground? Which is a very good question. If they stay on the ground, so not set, as you can see here. This is why I chose back one as an option. If you do back one here into the sidestep first, it flips over, giving you plus 16 and also very good position still to go for uh, while running two, going for different moves, maybe for forward, forward, four to reach.
Even if they do a mid kick, a wake up kick here, you while running will beat the wake up kicks. If they do this on the ground, the wake up kick here, it launches. And there's a very specific thing as well. If they stand up normally, they will actually wake up back turned. And how I know when someone wakes up normally, first you do this the first time, then do the back one to be safe. Now I know, okay, so he is launched back turn. The next time I do this, I can do this now. So that's, you know, maybe now you have a reason to use it 10% of the times instead of 5. And it's something I have to remind myself as well. Does Rage Rock catch the back turn? Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. I'm not sure. Let me try. Okay, not if they normally stand up normally, but. No. Oh, wait. Wait, oh, hold up. Type, you're a genius. You know that? You're a fucking genius. Did you see that shit? One more time. Bro, did you see this shit? Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna record it first just to make sure because practice mode is not very reliable at some angles and situation and setup. So let's do the same. But now we're Hayachi. As you can see, I'm holding down back there. One more time. I'm holding up now. Yeah, just back, regular back. So yeah, it is guaranteed. If, if the opponent quick rolls or quick stands up normally. That's too slow. Grab. That's a good one, maybe. I'm not sure because he's back turned is very weird, but. No, it no, it doesn't work. Um, I think down for 2 1, maybe? Oh, that's the wrong one. Down back 2 1 works. I didn't even have to sidestep there. I think down back to one is the most efficient, easy one to do here. Yeah, exactly. I think it's very cool if you hard read that the opponent will stand up normally, but back one covers everything without rage or, you know, with rage, without rage. But, you know, at some moments you can hard read the opponent standing up normally and then this will be pretty cool to, to you know, throw it out. Oh, that also works against the wall. That's pretty cool. It's not even very hard to train this. It needs a little bit more timing here, but the rest is pretty easy to do. That's pretty cool. Does it also work with back four if they stay on the ground? Because if the answer is yes, then that would be very nice. Let me try. Yeah, that's true type. You can always go for the up for three, four. True. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. This is perfect here. You don't even have to dash in. Down two will hit. If they're grounded, they will hit if they... They will get launched if they do the wake up kick here. And on normal, quick... Roll or sight roll left or right. This will hit. Yeah, this will hit. The hardest thing here to do is the sidestep, but it's not hard to do at all. You have to tap it a little bit and then do this. 
That's cool. I can try it on ranked. Speaking of rank, I think we hit the mark to try and see how far we will go in ranks. That, you know, if you don't know shit, then this game is pretty enjoyable. Oh my god, Lars, please. Oh my lord. Alright, this is fun. I'm sorry, man. Oh, there we go. Now it's back. Oh, nope. I spoke too soon. Is this normal on the uh, third dance? Is this normal on silver rank? The lag? Nice down for three. <laughs> I'm gonna try, man. Okay. Damn, I didn't know the silver ranks is this hard to play. Oh god. I tried down for three there. Oh, that's a grab. 